Okay, this one is basically just a break because it's just... We had to go around with our little orca friend again and go through some... Go through my ring, Superman. That's a very, very cartoony looking fish. Yeah. Have fun with your meat. I can put out their fire. Yeah. Oh no. I think this is the, for the secret star as well. The ill's just going about. Definitely a lot smaller than the uh, one in 64. <laughs> and I guess, like, what is it? The. I think the ill in. Was it that one Marika 8 course is meant to be Uga Unagi? So I the lake. Yeah, so I so I guess um so, uh, Guppy can just fly around galaxies. <laughs> Cause he got here from uh Sea Slide somehow, I guess. Have you ever seen Star Trek 4, Harry? I I've barely seen any Star Trek anything, so two words. Oh, oops. Space whales. <laughs> I forgot how to break. <laughs> Well, you can actually hit the jellyfish? Yeah, you can. Yeah. What, what? Oh, I see. Okay, I thought the game glitched there. I guess um, the the numbers don't change until we like, you actually go through the rings. I thought it would always be the right numbers. Over there, Harry. Over there! Over there! Over there! Yes. Yeah, it's just... Again, it's just a break. There's nothing to really write home about here. How do I? Yeah, okay. So what these... Hi. Even the even the mines have even the mines have eyeballs. Balls. I think Guppy's just he's not a villain. He's just an asshole. Yeah, I mean it's clever because um, orcas are basically like penguins' like biggest threat, I guess. So it makes sense why you put him in the sea slide galaxy. Okay, so now do the secret star. This one's pretty cool. It's a nice little. You're, you're just sent into this like little square room, and it's like a nice little platform challenge. Oh, okay. I think, I think this might be one of the stages where it is. It might be possible to get this on multiple stars. I think the game tends to just give you the one that's, I guess. The first time it's available, or the one that's the most, um, uh, recommended? Whee! Hmm. So yeah, no more sorry, beach. I'm, sorry, I'm multitasking right now. <laughs> Duh. Yes. So this time we, we at least don't have to um, get any star bits for this, so we can just get to it right away. I mean, do you guys change? Wait, what? Did the music change? Yeah, I think it gets like more sinister as you like go deeper. Oh hi. So dark. <laughs> yes. Now, how would you guys like say? Like, how do you feel about how the secret stars were handled in in this game? Just the way they work, I guess. They're fine. They're really fine. I'm, I'm just glad it tells you where they are. That is not. Yeah, I can imagine it being a bit annoying if that wasn't the case. Like even like even the fact that it just marks where it is wouldn't be in a hey, which galaxy there are hey, that there is one wouldn't really be enough. It has to be like where it is. Yeah, yeah, because like so the idea is to lead yeah. this boo to death. Pretty much. Jeez. Yeah. 
Ugh. Blah. Yeah, I, I do like how overly elaborate this is. Just to kill one boo. One poor little boo. And they're just that one urchin just chilling. Yeah, I do I do like how they just make the they use the um boo level music just for this one section. Were you gonna were you gonna say something? For me? I no scrappy. Why are the urchins so furry? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I'm looking, thinking back to like Mario Wii. Those those guys were a lot more um, pudgy, I guess. <laughs> okay, now now we're getting into the really cool stuff. Um, Dreadnought and Melty Molten are some of my favorite galaxies in the game. Well, my minus one secret star in this place, but we'll get to that. Just a lot of cool level design here. Like, they just go absolutely crazy with the level design in these two levels. Hmm. It's like a slightly more colorful space junk galaxy. Pretty much. Yeah, this is... Basically, um... This is... More or less Battle Rock 2.0, except with it... Instead of, um, being a rehash, like... What is it? Was it Gold Leaf? Um... This is like pretty much all new level design. It's just using that same idea, like level trope, I guess, and just making a new uh, sta stage for it. And also more That's 2D. Space junk, did I mean that or not? I don't know. I mean, I can kind of see what you mean by space junk, but. God damn, sorry. Uh, sorry, everybody. I forget if I said this last recording, or mm -hmm. aim, but like, I've recently been replaying Fire Emblem games. <laughs> yes. Just oh, God. Just oh, God. Yeah. I think if you're like frame perfect with a triple jump, spin, wall jump, you can get that into that pipe early. I've tried that countless times. I think I might, might have been able to do it like once. It's really not worth it because by the time you get it you you've probably spent more time trying to trying to do that than like, just doing it normally but yeah yeah oh gosh yeah getting some I'm getting some piss against some crash two flashbacks right now Kind of. I, I am getting like a little bit of... Oh, easy now. Um, I am kind of getting like slight space station vibes. Hmm. Well, uh, kind of... How am I... Okay. <laughs> I'm very narrowly avoiding getting hit here. Super skilled gamers. Gaming time. I love the way from promote. We're in Dreadnought, right? Yes. Oh yeah, there's like massive black hole down there, by the way. Oh! Jump on the thing, Marrow, please. Oh god! Okay. Jeez, battle is, this, is this Battle Rocks theme? Yes. So this is cool, I, li I like stuff like this. You wall jump as the walls are like going up. You know, I'm glad it's Valorox scene because this is one of my favorites. <laughs> when I was back to this theme. I think this is called like Space Fantasy. Hmm. What a mm. challenge. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you might be able to. Tr I, I don't know, that might be too far. Knowing speedrunners, they'll find a way. Yeah, right. Or rather, they found a way. <laughs> Yeah, right. Eh! You wanna, like, not do that? That would be great. Said, um, I guess since I brought that up, yes. speedrunners are really just fascinating, like, how much they have to research or and, and, mm. and put into practice, like, yeah. just to 
pull off some weird shit. Yeah, they spend like countless hours trying to perfect like sometimes just one uh, technique just to shave off like half a second maybe. It's I, I can't imagine doing that. That would drive me up the wall. Like not even practicing it. Like it took me, it took me a good, a good while to actually get a cannonless right in Super Mario 64. Yeah. And even then, I've only been able to do it once. Hmm. Yeah. Cause like all, I, cause all I did was copy a video, was watch a video, and then just try to imitate it as best I can. I'm just yeah. glad I was able to pull it off. Yeah, the thing is like. Uh, the tricks like that, speedrunners have to do, like, consistently, and if they don't, they probably have to reset the whole run. Yeah, Grand Cannonless is a very early trick, but... Yeah. Like, have you tried it before? I've tried it before, I've never su uh, succeeded. All I know about it is, like, you- is, like, cause, like, it's a very specific thing with camera angles and how Mario gets up from a ledge. Right. Yeah, I know you have to be very precise with how you, like, uh, act, uh, do it, I guess. That said, if you want to see the quick, if you want to, if you want to see the result of my candle, check my, check my Twitter, right? <laughs> hmm. Shameless plug. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I mean, it's probably somewhere in there. Colossal cannons. Oh, this is a tricky one. Uh, this this is uh, the this is one of those this is, oh, this is one of those auto scrolling bits. Yeah, this is the lesser of two evils because this is also a really infamous purple coin level. Um, I I it's kind of funny oh, how right you mentioned Battle Rock had one like this. <laughs> yeah, the pu the yeah the purple coin challenge in Battle Rock is basically to prepare you for this one. Um, well, I say that that depends on if the game like does Battle Rock first because I think that's just random. <laughs> That said, yeah. thank Galaxy 2 for making it. I think it's like when a comet shows up, it stays there. I think. I don't know if that's completely true, but it's been a while since I played that game. Ah, uh, yes, I do like Mario 3. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I was also kind of thinking, like, Metropolis Zone, I guess. I think I hate both. I, hate, I think I hate those things. Ugh, a pizza. I hate doing that in both series. Hmm. I don't know why the yeah. cheering the chain. I think those are the re I think those are reused sound effects from Sunshine. From yeah, I think so. It's just like pitched up. It's like it's like, it's like, it's like the it's like the chants that are in the Pianta Village. Yeah. I like the little change home houses. I, I love the fact that, like, chain chomps were conceived because Miyamoto got chased by, like, a dog or something. <laughs> so what kind of dogs are you, um, getting chased by? <laughs> like, good lord. When you're a child, any dog will look uh, like the most ferocious beast ever if it's chicken yeah. you or I mean, something at you. I mean, good. <laughs> I... <laughs> didn't have poor Bob. <laughs> Yeah, and this pot. Oh, hi! I thought you were gonna fall off! <laughs> uh, I mean, yeah, I, I can see that, like... I had, like, terrible... Um, things happening with me with dogs growing up, so I, c I can... Understand having the... Image of them, like, being a lot more, like... Menacing in your, like, mind, I guess. I think I mentioned this to you once, Harry, but you just come off more with a cat person than a dog person. You pro- yeah, you probably mentioned that before. I mean, yeah. I think I did. I think I think it was off camera, but yeah. I've um. I'm definitely a oh, lot I'm more. Cool. Oh god. Okay. Th this is my problem with this. Like, up it. Oh my god. Yeah. What? Up is up. Up is down, and down is up. I think so. I. It, it just when 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 you uh, go upside down like that, and the, and the controls are like weird. It just messes with my head. Um. But yeah, it, what was I saying? Uh, Dog and cats. Yeah, no. Yeah, it took me a long time to uh, get more used to dogs. I'm still, part of me is still like fears them to a degree, but I'm a lot more okay with them now than I used to be. Um, 
I don't think definitely more of a dog than cat person. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I'd ever want to like. You know, I'm the one who just says cafes, cafes, cafes. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I, I don't. I would never really want to have a dog as a pet, but I, I'm not. I'm not against like being near one as long as they don't like attack me or something. Oh, I mean, that's the thing with animals in general, like, sometimes you just don't know if they're gonna react harshly to you. Yeah, but that's why- that, that's just kinda why I'm just scared of animals in general. I cause, like, yeah. I'm, a, I'm a- I'm afraid of, like, just, like, shit, I don't know what, how they're gonna react. And, like, if they, I need to know them before I can really say, like, oh. Yeah. Usually that's the same deal with animals, too, like, uh, they're not immediately gonna trust you, but you just have to develop the bond, I guess, which I guess is, um, easier said than done a lot of the time, but... Oh, there's a star. Yes. Oh, it's moving sideways. Good. <laughs> yeah! Yes. <laughs> Yeah, I... I don't know what I was going to say, honestly. <laughs> I did it. I did it. Yeah, I did it. Mario number one. Hmm. Yeah, I... So how far are we going to go tonight, actually? I have no idea. It's already 20 past one, so probably not much longer, honestly. I guess we'll say, you know, it yeah. might be, it might be right to save, um, have Melty Molten last, and just run out of a session. Maybe, uh, yeah, because we still have the speed, the, uh, yeah, I think it is a speedrun comet, and then we have the secret star, which might take a bit, depending on how much I mess up. Yeah, Melty Molten itself is probably gonna take us eight, but the, the Daredevil comet is definitely gonna take some time. Yeah, I think... Yeah, that it's pipe, like said, that pipe like right that there. Full level. Yeah, this pipe right there is uh, the gateway to hell. <laughs> what do you mean? You'll remember. Uh, know what the secret star is? Yes. And oh, you... I can't wait to see what you mean by that, since I don't remember what's down there. Well, you'll you'll find out immediately when we go in there. So. Oh wait a minute! It's the break the trash again, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> Oh. And it's sorry. way- it's way harder than the first time we did that. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just imagining like the Smash Brothers announcers yelling out, BREAK THE TRASH CANS! Puh. It, li it literally is just, um, what's the game called? Um, Street Fighter? Where- Street Fighter 2, where he just break the car. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Whee! Bro, that isn't like mini game in Smash no, Brothers yet. Hmm. That reminds that reminds me. Has anybody ever seen Terminal Montage or Street, um, something about Street Fighter Two? No. <laughs> the, the the car is the greatest enemy. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's funny. <laughs> because because like for for like everybody except for Guile, all he really needs to do is just spam low is spam a uh, low kick. Ah. Yeah. But for Guile, it's literally just spamming uh, Hadouken and Sonic Boom. Yeah. Nice. And Guile is just waiting for him to get close so he can flash kick him. What? Okay. What? 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 How? Okay, I didn't realize. I thought the cannonballs like explode when you touch them. What? That's weird. You explode. Like why? Are they like they just I, I don't even that that just looked really weird. It, it looked like they were hitting me without me even, me even touching them. You were touching them. Scrappy is right. I mean, fair enough, but yeah. Momentum! Nice shot of the Dreadnought. Yeah, that is cool. Why are there no reg regular Monty Mold in this game? Yeah, do these guys have like special names? I don't know. Oh! Hey, there's another um, uh, health bonus. 
That's cool. There has to be a shell somewhere for this. Yeah, there's so many chests around here. I don't see any shells. Uh, oh, I yeah, good. yeah. I I know where I'm saving da, da, that. Da, 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 da. Oh! Yeah, I. <laughs> yeah, that Here's was the Venn diagram cool. section of the level. Yeah, yeah. I I remember. I looked back at the um, <laughs> Gusty Garden thing. That was great. What happened? No, oh, when da, I got. Da, 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 oh! <laughs> that was pretty brilliant. I, also, I like how I've never used these guys. <laughs> you really don't need to. <laughs> They just charge you, was it coins or, or star bits? Star bits. Yes. Hmm. Oh, wow, I, okay. I, okay, I guess... Maybe my my mind is playing tricks on me, but I, I swear to god this guy... the coin light fairy. I think you're supposed I mean, to throw guess. the guys into him. Does that even do anything? Let's find out. No. Nope. Yeah, I, I guess he is, like... How, okay. He's, he, he's, he's trying to get away from you. Yeah, I... I didn't realize this oh, guy. Oh, 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 oh. I didn't realize this refight had him like a lot more, um, like cowardly. <laughs> not cowardly, but um, a lot more evasive. I guess I don't know. I don't know what the right word is. It might help if we get rid of these assholes. <laughs> yeah. Oh. He re oh, he reacts when you get rid of him. Oh, okay. Do you wanna like get in there? I really don't even need to. Be, first. I really don't even need to uh, be collecting star bits anymore, but I'm just doing it out of habit. Okay, there we go. Nice combo. Yeah, boy. In. It's going to be in this combo video. So what are we doing now? Speed run of the first of the first star. I don't. I have no idea. Oh man. Well, at least that's more expensive than the top spin in Mega Man 3. <laughs> it has been a long time. Well, not a long time, but it's been a... F yep, speed of comet. It's been a fair bit since I played Mega Man. Just any of them. Robbie, have you ever played a Mega Man game? Played demos of Mega Man 9 and 10 and then... Oh, yeah. Oh, hmm. Oh, it's just the top man fight. Yeah, it's just what we just did. Oh, for huh. sake. Yeah. Well, yeah. as they say in Napoleon Dynamite, do it again. Do it again. Yeah, and it is... Top of top, indeed. Yes. Oh, I don't need... Oh, right, I need this guy to show up. Yeah, I... Even this late in the game, the speedrun comments really just aren't anything. Did you even need the star, or was it? So... Well, we don't need any more stars. <laughs> no, no, I meant the launch star. I meant. Oh, I, I have no idea. I don't think you, I think you passed by it by mistake. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what um things you can like bypass by doing like jumps or whatever. But, you know, I think you can just do that. Oh, okay. I guess you can just barely not get that. That or death reception. Yeah. I mean, if I was playing as Luigi, I could have gotten that. <laughs> Weege time. Weege. 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 Yes. Okay. Eh. Yeah, just uh, having the controls reversed just confuses me. I do think I do think the comets were a good call though in general as like a replacement for the more uh what you call it? The stuff that was like clear padding in 64 and Sunshine, like 100 coin stars, uh blue coins and Having like a bunch of secret uh, shines in every every one of the sunshine levels and all that, um, they basically replace all those with the comets, which I guess you could argue is 
padding in a different way, but I think it's at least more, like, unique content. So, I think it's a, a step in the right direction compared to that. Good. Oh. Well, we're there. Yeah. I mean... Don't <laughs> mess up. Yeah. Whee! Oh, hi. Like... I'm back, bitches. Yes. Like, maybe I can see you, like... Um... Dying to just... The level itself, but... I really don't see how, like, the timer here can be an issue. Because oh, okay. Because um... For less experience... For less experienced players, it will... Figure... I mean, I was, gonna, I was gonna say this is probably more of a thing for kids than uh, than us. I think I think the timer would it would it for I feel like profession not professional but like more uh, seasoned players I guess. Um, it's the most I can see it hap uh, doing is um, making you panic I guess. Yeah, that's what I was getting at. Like, yeah, I mean that's yeah, fair. Yeah, like timers timers inherently make people panic. I mean that's fair. I do think it's more. I don't want to say justified, but it's definitely more. It definitely makes you panic a lot more in Galaxy 2, though, because those are actually speedruns. <laughs> but no, I, I, I get right, the idea, go. yeah. Alright, we're almost done. One more start, and we're done with the game, we're done with our session. Yeah, I've already, I've already been recording for over an hour. That's an hour too long. I haven't eaten a meal since breakfast. <laughs> oh, jeez. Uh, yeah, maybe. I'm holding we... back just saying, go to bed, Harry. Yeah, maybe we'll get access to the Hungry Luma. Maybe. I mean, if we do, then the session gets expanded by another 10 minutes. <laughs> Probably, knowing how, um... Well, it depends on how quickly I can beat it. Because some... Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. look at this. Yeah, so, before I start, same deal applies as last time. You don't want to hit these, um... Well, I can't anyway, but... You don't want to hit these, uh, coins. Uh, because... Again, like last time, you want to use those as reference to what, where you want to throw the bombs. And, um, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's about the most advice I can give you, because even with that, it's, you're not always guaranteed to get this. So, have fun. I guess another thing to keep in mind is um, Mario's throw arc, and like how far he throws it. Part of me is already convinced that you didn't make it. Yeah, I don't think that's going to be good enough. Yeah. And it, it, yeah, if Mario does weird stuff like that, it's not going to help. Yeah, look how little time you have. It's ridiculous. Something Mario Party minigame music. Yeah, right? Nope. Nope. You have to be, like, pixel nope, perfect. Nope, trying to kill you. Nope. Okay. I okay. Yeah. So I I guess it's generous in that you don't lose lives. You just have to keep restarting. But still. <laughs> hey, you want to blow all this trash for me? Correct answer is no. Yeah. Right. This one at least makes more sense than the, than a battle rock thing uh, one because, well, I know it's like, lot game logic. Trying to keep a dreadnought clean here, people. Well, yeah, that and um, game logic one hundred and one, I guess. But it's like in. Yeah, in, in Balrog, you're, like, creating this planet that just has this, like, garbage on it. And, like, the game is just like, man, this sucks. <laughs> but at least in this, um... Oh. Yeah. I think you need to, com I think you need to combo your bombs. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, at least in this one, the planet's, like, this thing's already here, so the garbage at least makes some sense. But, yeah, and it's just game logic being... Being what it is, so whatever. Being game logic. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, I think this is a bust. I I was getting stuck on stuff. Yeah, I really don't know how to do this efficiently. I just keep doing this, and sometimes it just works. Maybe it's on the outside? Maybe. Like, maybe? Nope. Damn it, dude. Maybe I'll start on the right side first. 
Ah, uh, yes, the problem was starting on the left. <laughs> yeah, I haven't. Uh, yeah, there's probably like a consistent strategy for this, but I. You got me. I got you. We got each other. Friends forever. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not funny. <laughs> <laughs> Does the funny scrappy man have anything to add to this? The answer is Subject no. Map. <laughs> ah. What? Subject. Too far. It was too far. The subject matter of this mission, it reflects my mood right now. <laughs> yeah, take out the trash. Man, I was going to say, not, like, even if you had, like, the two, like, 2 p two p star or whatever, even that wouldn't help because they can't really do much of the bob -ombs. So, yeah, you really are just kind of boned with this one. So, you, I, I have no idea. Like, I don't know how to do this any faster. Please, blow up. <laughs> God. <laughs> Why? Harry, you need to be sillier. I, I don't know what else to do. <laughs> be sillier. Uh. I already told you. Yeah, you'll work on it. <laughs> <laughs> That's not far enough. Maybe if I like, God, like throw them from f further away, so then I can like get to the oh, other. You almost had it. Yeah, man, why is this a thing? Because God likes to punish people. Pretty much. Okay, yeah, I need. Oh, yeah, I. Really I need that. I need that to happen in like a good run. Well, that just proves that you're almost there. Hmm. Man. I'm trying to make you feel better. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, this is one star I never look forward to doing. Oh, dude. Nah, this is a bus. Let's just reset. Can I just leave? <laughs> Bye! <laughs> Hit you, bitch! <laughs> and how could you leave me to do this alone? Yeah, right. Imagine if doing that just made him kill you. It's like, how dare you? <laughs> Really bad at you. <laughs> yes. Yeah, the thing is, as well, like if Mario gets like stuck on uh, objects, like, oh, damn it, it's uh... probably gonna cost you. And yeah, no. restart. Bye again. The fuck. Ah, oh, dude. Ah. <sighs> Okay. So. There you are. <laughs> so how's life? Life exists. Life is strange. <laughs> Very funny. I'm thinking maybe if I like do it near you. Yay! Thank you. Oh, well, we're done. Okay, good. Oh. Yeah. Screw you and your stupid. I got distracted. Yeah, screw you and your stupid garbage. This game is garbage! Oh god. This star is garbage. <laughs> well, that yeah. was trash. Yeah. Yeah, honestly, that's probably one of my least favorite levels in a 3D Mario game. Or least favorite stars. 
Like the level, like, I love Dreadnought itself, but like just that level, or that star specifically is just, no thank you. So are uh, we done? Yeah, I guess so. Um, Hungry Luma didn't show up, so I guess we'll just end the uh, Fountain Dome, uh, Fountain Dome, the Garden Dome for the time being, and then next time we'll finish it up and then fight the funny Bowser Man. Yeah. Bye bye.